So we, uh, when we see the structures of the uh, asexual reproduction, we can differentiate the process of asexual re uh, reproduction into the different way. Earlier lecture we are already discussing about the fission and type of fission and the uh, budding. So in this lecture we are going to further discuss the type of the asexual reproduction. So uh, it was a type. <coughs> type of a sexual reproductions <clears throat> so another type of the asexual reproduction is the spore formation spore formation In the spore formation, uh, there, there were the minute spores formed by the parent's body and these germinate to form the new individual. Alright, so it, uh, this occur by the uh, different process, different type. So this type of spores, na, either the motile spores, the spores should be the motile. It means that the, it have the flagella for the moment to reach the female body, right? In the case of Clermidomonas, <coughs> Clermidomonas, but are and this type of motile spore formation, no? motile spore formation, no? is also termed as the zoo spore. Zoo spore. Where male where male spores is motile one. Right. When we discussing the no, spore formation, uh, on if the uh, motile if the spores is non motile, so if the spores is non motile. Right. So um, um and and this is seen in hydra. Right. In hydra. So in case of hydra, the spores is non-motile and it is present in the form of chain. Spores is non-motile and present in form of chain. Present in form of form of chain. This type of arrangements <coughs> is known as conidia formation. Conidia formation. Or this type of spores is known as conidio spores, right? So, if the spore in, in the process of spore formation, if the uh, spores is motile, that is known as zoo spores, and the example is Clamidomonas, right? So, uh, another when the spores is non motile uh, and it is present in the form of chain, we can see it like this. This is the main branches of the parents, right? This is further. Uh, other branches right and presenting this form in the form of chain or this is conidio spores and this is known as conidio conidio spore and it is present in the apka chain so this type you know conidia formation so it is another type of the asexual reproduction so we further going to discuss another type of the asexual reproduction which is known as fermentation <coughs> so the another type of the asexual reproduction is fermentation fermentation so in the process of fermentations uh, the, the, if, uh, the process of fermentation is the other type of the asexual reproduction in which body get in which process we can say the process by which by which body break break into a small fragment into a small fragment huh? 
एन डबल एन डबल इन टू न्यू ऑर्गेनिज न्यू ऑर्गेनिज राइट तो इन द केस ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन द बॉडी ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिज्म गेट डिवाइडेड वी कैन वेन वी मेक द डायग्राम वी कैन सी द इन द केस ऑफ स्पायोग्राम राइट इन द केस ऑफ स्पायोग्राम वी कैन मेक दाइक दिस राइट तो इन द केस ऑफ एग्जाम्पल वी कैन सी स्पायोग्राम तो केस ऑफ स्पायोग्राफ द फ्रेगमेंट विच इज ब्रेक बाई द एंसरेंट इट डेवलप इन टू द न्यू ऑर्गेनिजम राइट तो दिस इज सीन इन दायोग्राफर इज द इट इज द अंदर टाइप ऑफ द ए सेक्चुअल रिप्रोडक्शन वेन वी सी इन द अंदर टाइप ऑफ द ए सेक्चुअल रिप्रोडक्शन वी कैन कंक्लूड द अंदर टाइप ऑफ ए सेक्चुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन द सेम बोर्ड सो इट इज द रीजनरेशन री generation why we going to discuss together this type of fermentation has the regeneration together so we can uh, discuss in the uh, after the some time so in the process of regeneration it is a process simple it is a process which body break body break into A small fragment, a small fragment, and this fragment get into the new body, a new organism, new organism form, new organism formed, right? And this type of the a uh, process seen in the case of planaria. So when we going to discuss about the diagram. we can make like this so when we going to discuss about a diagram we can say if the body of the planaria is divided into the three parts right so uh, this is the head one this was the middle one and this was the tail one so each of these part going to form the new planaria like this and another one like this so we can think about it ki the process of the of the process is little bit same in the both the process has the fermentation has well as the regeneration but the something is different what the different is and uh, in the process of fermentations some body part get uh, into the new organism it means that the uh, whole body whole body cannot germinate help in the formation of new body right but in the case of regeneration each and every part of the body get into the new organism so this is the basic differences between the fermentation and regeneration right fermentation process is only seen the are uh, in the seeing in the several lower class of organism such as the spirogram right whereas the regeneration property is a shown in the lower as well as the higher level of organism right uh, in in our liver there is also the process of occur which is known as the regeneration it get repaired by itself after the some interval of time so it occur in the human also right <laughs> so we going to further discuss about the further top uh, further types in the next classes thank you